Surviving a shut-in. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How relevant. Yeah, it is. Hi, I'm Angie. Hey, I'm Eddie. Thanks for joining us at Life Square. You bet. Welcome to Life Squared, brought to you by the Perfectly Imperfect Network, from imperfect folk everywhere. Okay, surviving a shut-in. Right. Very relevant. We have been shut in for several days now. Um, we're just now getting out of the period of time we have to be shut in. Right. Um, there's lots of names for it. We're using shut in because we don't want to be tagged. Right, yeah. um, and it, it, it's happened several times over the last couple of years to everyone. Yes, it has. It's going to happen more. And more. So we did it better maybe the first time than we did the second time. Yes. So what we want to do is share what actually worked for us the first time. And the second time, we got a little lazy. Yes, we did. And it didn't work as well. But we didn't Second feel time, good. We were sick. Yeah, we were First sick. First time we were not. So, despite being jabbed three times each, we both got the virus. Yeah. Okay, and we're in really pretty darn good health. Yes, so, we are. So, um, it will happen. So, the first thing we say is get psyched. What's get psyched me? Have a plan. Yes. Have a plan. Plan for. The worst, have great ideas, get really imaginative, especially if you have children. Right. But even if you don't have children. Yeah. And the main thing is, too, don't say, well, it's not going to happen to me because it will. It will happen. So, for example, if you're thinking about painting a room, go ahead and go buy that paint. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. You know, uh, we didn't. And, and we wish we would have. <laughs> we're sorry, but we, we think more is coming and we're going to go buy that paint. Tomorrow. Yeah, we are buying that paint. Yeah, <laughs> we are. But any projects, the very first time we landscaped our yard. Right. And it worked out beautifully. Yes, it did. It was a great um, plan. We started learning yoga and meditation and many of the things we're talking about today. We absolutely just changed our life. Yeah, we started back then. The first one was a month long. Yeah. So we absolutely say it was a great thing for us. It was at the time. And, yes. You know, not for a lot of people. I get that. So number two, what do you do? You get up, you get showered, you get dressed for the life you want to be living. Why? It just makes you feel better. Right. If you look at yourself in the mirror and you haven't had a shower in three days, you know what? That's you your, don't feel yeah. good about yourself. Yeah. You're not ready for the day. No, you're not ready for the day. And um, that's not good. You, you, you need to feel good about yourself. You Don't need... go get down on yourself. Yep. Get up. Yep. And move. Number three, walk outside every day. If you can make that happen for 30 minutes, that's a really good thing. It really helps you. It really sort of recharges your batteries, resets things. Everything. You become closer to nature yeah and nature solves a lot of mental problems it's a relaxation mode. It, it really does it it teaches you to be in the moment so get out there and walk outside right. number four talk every day yes um chit chat to someone with someone you got a cell phone get that cell phone out talk, talk to, somebody, to somebody especially if you're by yourself or if you're locked in with only children Make sure you talk to an adult every day. Or if you're locked in with somebody, talk to them. Talk yeah. about something. Chit chat. Yep, 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 yep. Absolutely. Number five, eat healthy and by all means, stay hydrated. Oh, yes. Don't don't use it as an excuse to eat poorly. No. Don't go off of your regular diet. Don't keep with what you normally do, especially through the week. Yes, and when you think you've drunk enough fluid, drink more. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely, especially if you're sick. Yes. Number six. Number six. Play music. We got a whole video da, about da, da, da. how music helps. It does and help. It, it elevates your mood, and it, it just sets the scene in the background for a better day. And it also brings up things to chit-chat about. 
It does for us a lot. Absolutely. We YouTube do. is free. Um, and you can find any kind of music you like on there. You bet. So, Number seven. Spend a little time each day that you're home thinking about better days. If, if that means looking at your wedding photos or a vacation photos or maybe um, we've got a book that's like our bucket list of uh, things we want to do. And we keep changing them in this climate where, uh, you know, it's not that easy to get an airplane. Right. I mean, well, it's easy to get an airplane, but sometimes yeah. you're a little afraid to. Right. Um, or, you know, places are closed down or there are supply chain problems. We sort of keep tweaking our bucket list. Yes. And finding things. We took up hiking. Right. Because that's kind of something it can't take away from us. Right. We can do that outside. I, absolutely. So um, do that. Um, if you, number eight, if you're in a crowded place, like there's a lot of people in your house, uh, find some space to be alone and do something. Read a magazine, read a book, do some painting, whatever, and make sure everybody in the house can do that. Right. Number nine, give everybody the respect they yeah. deserve concerning the situation because everybody in the house is depressed about the situation to a certain extent. They're all coping with it. They're all dealing with it. Some days are better than others. Right. So give them respect. That's probably the hardest thing. Um, that's maybe what I was the worst at. I was really bummed out this last time because we had a whole week planned. And then one day somebody goes, oops, you, you can't go come. anywhere. Yes. You are stuck at home. Yeah. And um, we were kind of sick, not terribly sick. So it just was annoying. Annoying has to be the best word for that. Yes, it was. So, number 10, know that kids and pets will act out. Our pet is acting out right now. As we're on with you, I hear him with a piece of plastic yeah. in the background. So, so he know will, that it's yes. going to happen because they know things are not, not the same and it makes them nervous. It's not normal for them either. No, it's not. Number 11, Find good things to think about, talk about, um, long for. Just good. 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 Because good. there is a lot of bad. Good is good. So find something good. Yes. A good story. You know, one thing we like to do is watch comedies. Yes, we do. Um, when we're in this kind of situation, or musicals. A know? good laugh um, will get you a long way. Yeah, or watching a good old musical where everybody breaks out and dance when things, you know, are um, going Good or bad? Yeah, or even look at the watch some of the old sitcoms. Really, they're almost funnier now because they're so corny. But yeah, yeah. they have their points. Corny can be good when you're shut in. Yes, you know, it can. You start thinking a little weird. Yeah. Okay, number yeah. twelve. Control what you can. And, yeah. And just give up. And and to the fact that there are things you can't control. Right. And it's going to happen no matter what you do, no matter what you say, yep. no matter what you feel. And worrying about it is not going to make it better. No, no, no way. But we want you to survive your shut-in the best yes. you can. Yes. And make be it. healthy. Um, stay safe out there. And thanks for joining us at the Perfectly Imperfect Network. More specifically today, Life Square. Yes. See you soon. Bye now. We really appreciate you joining us today at Life Squared on the Perfectly Imperfect Network. To get more content, please consider subscribing. If you have any questions or feedback, we'd love to hear from you in the comments section. Thanks for watching.